Today we will be playing some rocksmiths. I have an acoustic here. Place that one aside. And we'll be playing some lessons and just a general for you on some jam session and ah, some general stuff. So, we start this up for you. So this is the main screen. We can start learning sound, but we won't do that for now. Uh, we can go into the session mode. Or, well, let's first look at some lessons to show you how this game is trying to teach you the playing lessons. of guitar. So you see, it gives you a little welcome, and uh, let me play it for you. Welcome to Rocksmith. To make sure you get the most out of your Rocksmith experience, we're going to have you answer a few quick questions. First, you have played you Rocksmith played before? Rocks. Well, I can't lie, I did. So, you're already pretty familiar with Rocksmith. Would you like to brush up on the basics before we move on? Yeah, give me the basics. Okay. Welcome aboard. Now, how experienced would you say you are at playing guitar or bass? Think mostly about the one you want to play first, today. I play simple things. Baby Shark, for example. Alright, now let's choose what kind of parts you want to play. Oh, uh, I'm for lead. I'm for lead. Do you plan lead. on playing right-handed or left-handed? Yeah, I'm a righty. Give this one a shot. And this is the headstock. You can see the more 6 in line or the 3 plus 3. As you see, I got a con. I only got 3 by 3. I don't have a 6 in line. Playing through a real tone cable. You can play through a microphone also for your acoustics, but yeah, not so recommended. Awesome. Let's move on. Calibration. You're gonna hear a lot of noise now. We're gonna bring up a calibration meter here in a second. When you see it, play your strings hard and fast to make some noise. Oh god, that's just gonna stop, sound horrible. Then cover the strings to mute them. Okay, here goes. Well, Get we'll ready. do it anyway. Now make some noise. Make some noise. That's noise, all right. Remember, now you did strings. <laughs> Great job. That was it. Okay, now tuning. Let's start with a low E string. That's the one that's thickest and closest to you. It's highlighted red in the game. Ah, right, this the game is a lot about too tuning. Low or too high. Then you turn the matching tuning peg to adjust it until the needle is right in the middle. If the needle moves the wrong way, turn the other direction. Now, go ahead and get your low E string in tune. Well, let's see that. Well, E in tune. Now yeah, it was. Step. The next one down is the A. The next one after that is the D string. It's blue. Now, the G string in orange. The next to last string is the B string. It's green. And finally, the high E string in purple. Alright, oh, well, sounds dude. great. Now, let's play each string one more time, just to double check that you're good to go. I want to bore you guys with <laughs> tuning all of the time. What? Yeah. Okay, let's get this show on the road and play some actual notes. So this is a note. It's yellow, which means the A string. Remember, the A string is the second thickest one. Now, it's coming down the second lane, so you're going to play the second fret. That means you put your finger right here, two spaces up. 
Let's start from the headstock and count the spaces between the metal strips. One, two, and that's where your finger goes. When the okay. note gets all the way down to the front of the screen, pick the string to play it. Hold on. Now, you give Hold it a on, shot. Mate. Press your finger down on the second fret of the A string. When the note reaches the bottom of the screen, play the right A string. Yes. This is the main playing screen, and also in song playthroughs you'll see this one. Great job! You can also just play the string without pressing anything down. That's called an open note. Check out the horizontal line coming down the screen. That means you play the open string. It's yellow again, so this is an open A. Let's go ahead and play that open A. Yeah, I did that. Before, We'll wait for you to find the right one. Come on, on. There it goes. Nice. Now, let's try playing a few notes in a row. A run of notes like this is called a riff. Don't worry if you miss a note. Okay. We'll wait for you to find the right one. Sounds like you're in the... Yeah, yeah the wrong one. Sounds like you're getting the hang of it. Now you're ready to take on Rocksmith. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be superstar. Not really. So, back out of this. Well, this one is about attaching your strap. It's about holding a guitar and how you sit down. And some picking basics and some shifting uh, well. some slides and well, let me show you one of those also let me pick a slides one but yeah Playing an SG, I think I'll plug in mine too. Slides are pretty straightforward. Just play a note like usual. And keep your finger pressed down and slide up to the next note. Probably have to tune it again. Try it now. Three to five. Excellent. Woo, he did it well. Now let's try sliding down the neck. We'll use a different finger this time. This is pretty much the same thing we just did, but in reverse. So, you want me to use the ring finger? We'll do that. Let's just try that. You got that one down. Yeah. All right, let's Literally. use that slide to play a riff. So I guess we're going to be playing a little let's riff then. this riff one more time before you play it. There it goes. Yeah, we got that, I think. Now your turn. Nice one. Ah, it worked. Now let's play another riff that has two slides, one going up and one going down. That's starting to sound riff, like something. But let's just listen to it. You can play after that. Okay, try playing it now. Oh my god. I'm the worst. Let's try that again. Nice. 
it said nice, it wasn't. Okay, now let's put it all together in a song. Here goes. Yeah, practice right then. like it's supposed to be. Okay, so did. You're gonna be a superstar. Don't you so gonna be a superstar? Not really. Voila. And so it goes down further and further some chords tremolos and ball mutes I apparently suck at this so I'm going to try this one because well I suck at it if you suck at something you need to learn that's the whole point of the game the strings close to the bridge with the edge of your hand to mute them a little bit. Yeah. Something, something like that. Something's a little off here. Your picking hand might be That's not off. Or outstanding. Usually you'll get several palm mutes in a row, so let's try repeating it a few times. Now you're a So yeah. That was pretty sweet. Should be. Now here's a riff built out of palm mutes. Oh, that's, that's starting to sound like something. Here's the riff again. Listen to it, then play it. Okay, yeah. Figure now it out. Your turn. Started wrong. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's try it again. Here's that riff again. Oh. That was almost too perfect. <laughs> I guess I was a little too fast at first. Let's check out another palm mute riff. Listen to this riff one more time before you play it. Now your turn. Well. Let's try oh, that, that was horrible. Here's that riff again. Again. Well, 
let's slow it down for a minute. Let's try to so get it's it. slowing down once you can't get it. That riff again. And it's going slower and slower, slower. And of course. Let's give that another shot. And so the point it's that it's slower. And if you don't play it right. Or at least try to play it. Then it starts Let's speeding up again. again. Now a little faster. And it speeds up. There we go. Here's a riff that shifts back and forth between palm mutes and regular notes. Just lift up your hand when the regular notes come along. Again, but let's just listen to it. We can play after that. Oh, this is... I'm not good at this. Oh, okay. see, you play make it. something out of it. Let's try that again. That riff again. Did it, is it right? Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try that a little slower. Well then. Let's give that another shot. Mm, didn't get it. That should be here. Let's try that again. Here's that riff again. Let's give that another shot. I think I know where the 16% came from now. Let's try that again. I'm playing it fast or something. Here's that riff again. No. Give that another shot. It's unforgiving and it stays in this. 
Tell you guys, uh, right? Now let's try that at full speed. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh no. Here's that riff again. And it goes again. And I totally screw up. Let's slow it down for a minute. I'm not gonna slow it down. I'm not gonna get this. I'm gonna bore you. Every now and then, you might want to practice. I got a machine complete. Then when it shows up, you're ready for it. Check out the chord book to see if there are any chords that need some special attention. And a couple of new skins. Play one new song. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> so it's, this remains on the sixteen percent. Some bands, some boards. So on the band spot, oh. Show you that one also. Okay, one of the most try that. guitar sound things you can do is bending the strings. Bending the string makes the notes. Could you stop barking, little doggy? The higher it goes. For now, let's just do a little one. What's called a half step. I don't really need vocals, you know. Now you try it. On the eleventh fret. Okay. That's a little. Don't need to bend it quite that far, but you've got the right idea. Yeah, You're still yeah. a bit shy of hitting that final note, so bend the string a little bit more this time. It's easier if you use your first, second, and third fingers together to bend the string. Yeah. I think that's about it. You're still a bit shy of hitting that final note, so bend. Excellent. Okay. Here's a riff using that half step bend. That's why I teach you to bend and to hear it when you get a half step up. Listen to this riff one more time. Let's see what this is. Okay, I think we got that. Oh God! Nice. That's so nice. Let's try a bend that's a little bigger, a whole step bend. Starting. Yeah, I just did that. I think. Try it at your own pace. Bend at the 12th fret. I think you're on the wrong string there. What? That's not the wrong string. Perfect. That's the wrong right string. Now check out this riff with a whole step bend, starting on the 14th fret. On the 14th fret. We do that. Can we play that? Here's I think we can. Again. Listen to it, then play it. No, I will play it too. I think we'll be okay. alright. You play now. Wow. 
What does it say that I miss it? Here's that riff again. What strange is that? Let's slow that down then build up. Yeah, I think I got a little bit of a lag problem here. See, it says it misses while it obviously didn't. Let's try that again. Here we go again. Is there a ghost note in between somewhere? Here's that riff again. Try that again at full speed. <laughs> Let's try that again. Here's that riff again. God, we're gonna be stuck in this again, are we? Let's try that a little slower and then No, we are not going to try this a little slower. So I'm screwing up here. Somehow it exited this screen when I pressed escape. When you're streaming there's a little bit of lag because you need to have the sound coming through also, so yeah. Doesn't get an excuse for my poor play though, but hey, you learn. Red hand mutes. I go into harmonics. Actually, uh, let's try this harmonics thing. One of the nice things about having the natural harmonics on the same fret for every string is that you can play harmonics on different strings at the same time. Here are a few of those. You can mix them up to get really beautiful combinations of sounds. Now your turn. Okay. On the three strings. That was right. awesome. Was it? Okay. So, was that it? Wasn't it anymore? Or did it? No. Don't want to do it again. Got it. Oh yeah, there's not a percentage on it, so it's just a uh, showing thing. On how it's done. Run and pull us. Shifting beyond the basics. Okay. Oh, let's try a little shifting there. See how well this goes. Getting to know your way around the fret Probably is not. important, especially when you start having to deal with bigger shifts. Here's a riff that covers a lot of ground. Don't forget to use the dots. That's a nice happy. Oh, 
All right. Listen to this riff one more time before you play it. Okay, that's play it for that. Did I? Let's try Did it again. No. Oh, crud. Almost. Here's that riff again. <laughs> I did it in reverse. Let's try it again. A little slower. Let's try it again. A little hey, again. No, it's supposed to be 67, eight. Let's try it again. A yeah, little it's slower. I think I got it. <laughs> 16 and the 7. Let's try it again. A little That's the slower. One. And that's how you figure out things. Great work. Now, let's try that again at full speed. There we got it. it. No. Oh god. Now we're screwing Here's it up again. again. That should that be it. Was almost too perfect. Okay. Shifting and sliding go hand in hand. You can use slides to move fluidly up and down the fretboard without any awkward gaps in your playing. Here's a riff that does just that. Listen to this riff one more okay. time before you play it. No. Look, uh, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> you suck. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you that. That's gonna be horrible. That's something I need to learn. But as you can see, it's a whole lot of lessons. on articulation tapping skills yeah so apart from the lessons we also got an arcade where you can learn your well your scales and your chords and yeah, this bending of things. I'll show you on whiling, yeah. Calibration time. Play loud to move up and play soft to stay down. Well, let's do that. So basically your guitar is your controller. And when you see bananas you start playing. Sound loud or soft. You mute it and you go down. Gotta be careful for it. 
birds and anything else. And that was game over. And let's try it one more time. Gotta feed that big guy. He looks hungry. Oh. I almost got it. Hey, I mute. There we go again. No, too fast. Oh god. Yep, up. No, no. Up. Oh god. Oh, that was... No. That's a lot of birds. Ninety-one bananas. But that's the guy I leave that. So I was gone whaling. Uh, skipping. Ah, oh, that's the guitar tuning again. So, you gotta hit the string where the puppet is, and then a little guy will shoot, if it's correct. So, the red string. running faster and faster. Yeah, I did get on the board. My high score is quite a bit higher. Oh, that's a string song. This kid gives you. Yeah, string skipping. Ducks, red. And the tuning again, of course. <laughs> so, ah, you're supposed to thread the string and then shoot ducks. Well, let's see. Uh, so that's on the sixth thread. Yeah, this is on the third thread. First thread. First fret, sixth fret, fourth fret, first fret, fourth fret, third fret, third fret, sixth fret, first fret, sixth fret, fourth fret, sixth fret. We'll switch streams. Cause I shot the colored one. Oh, wrong one. Gets increasingly hard. And I got a colored one. Green string. That's the second one. Uh, 11th fret. 12th fret. 8th fret. 10th fret. 8th fret. 3rd fret. 5th fret. Got the luck! Yeah! Yellow string. Oh god. 12 uh, 8 8 8 5 Oh no Ah 
like flying all in my face. Let's see. Oh god, I got a new high score. Oh, that's nice. That means I'm progressing, is it? Uh, 65,000 out of 400,000 players, that's not bad. So, that was the ducks. Ninja slides. The tuning again, of course, the tuning, always the tuning. So, the object here is to play a slide uh, from the string towards the next one. But you'll see in a moment. It's a hundred towers. Yeah, I want to reach a hundred towers. So this is the first string to the fifth fret. And the fifth. Fifth fret. Fourth fret. Fourth to first. Third to third. Third to fifth. First, the fourth, the first, and switch the strings to the third, and it fell down. <laughs> this is gonna produce some calluses. If you didn't have any. This will hurt. <laughs> there we go. Fits. What? Oof. Oh, it's a 2 to the 5th. Ah, no. Oh, okay. Close. Nah. Can you beat it? Nah, I won't. So many more. Scale wise, this one is well, it will teach you scales and the tuning again. Scale so you can basically pick where you want to play. The pentatonic ma major or the pentatonic minor, it starts with the minor and it goes with, uh, with other scales uh, as you progress. So, those are the strings again, and you're supposed to hit the part where they are standing on. Diminishes. Oh god. Yeah, take that. Go on. Grab it. Big guy. It's a what? Come on. Big, big, what? No, 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 it. Get it. Go. Something kicking my next guy. Go oh. on. What? I think something is weird here. Oh, you need a boss fret. I almost lost the guy. Second fret. Fourth fret. Second fret. Fourth fret. Yeah, let's go wherever we go.
Okay. So, second to the fifth. If anything, it teaches you to, well, play without watching your fretboard also. Oh, this is 4th fret, 5th fret. about that. Here again. Dead threat. Dead threat. Oh no, I died. Go kick his butt! 
Go off. Guy, huh? <laughs> I reckon it is. Got a boss fight. Oh god. Sift threat. This is on the yellow string. Four threat, four threat. Sift, sift, sift. I sift. I sift five. Four fret. What is that shield thing he does? A oh, ten fret suddenly changed. I died. One life left. Ten fret, eight fret. Oh God! So from the tenth fret again. Yes. one will end because it's uh, 
that deck player suit. Fifth. Those bullies. Oh, we got a boss guy again. So, from the fourth fret up to the seventh. Ah, break a shield. with your shield. Oh, kick it, kick it. Kick it. A5, what's the two, this one, and the blue one? Oh, it's just uh, one down. We're dead. So, okay. A5, A5. Oh, A5. E5. E5, A5. 
Fall. Yeah. Die, are really zombies. Hey, bye. Take that. Hey. Shoot it. Five. Hey, five. I don't need vocals. E5. 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 It's this one. E5. Oh no. E5. E5. I look like a boss guy. So what's this turn of green thing? E5. 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 Third foot. I almost went wrong. Oh, 
died again. I think this is gonna go bad. Might win. I guess I have eight five. Eight five. Oh no. You survive? Then welcome to your true doom. Do I have to? Do this all again. Be careful! That monster also knows the power of cords. <laughs> oh, I gotta. That's why I got nothing there. I never made it that far. Then, hurtling huddles. The tuning again. Try 
similar pick the starting matching spring, mute the jump, and avoid the crusher. Okay. Well that's nice. Awesome. Oh god, I'm stuck in jumping. Oh god, faster, go faster. Oh no! I guess this is teaching you tremolo and... Well... It's good to learn in a game, isn't it? No. No, but I'm not going to do again. We got... Of bends. Yeah, you're tuning again. <laughs> so, I guess you have to bend the string on the string that's yellow. So, so 12 to 30. See what they're doing. Go to the eight fret again, the fifth fret, go to the seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, seventh, fifth, 
8, 8, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8. Oh no! That went horribly wrong. <laughs> I guess you can you can learn your skills from this. Speeding up your skills. Stock shorter to display this. Let's see what this is leading to. So, play the matching card on your display to shoot an enemy ship. I never learned to star cards. Oh, well. oh. Okay, E5. Yeah, I can do E5. Know that from shooting the zombies. E5, I know that one too. F5, I know that one too. That's this one. A5. I did it. It's the A5. F5. F5. A5. 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 Third, third, and fifth. What? Something like this? I guess it did. Fifth. F five. And the A. Yeah. What the hell is C5? Third, third, third. Oh no! Uh. Okay, we gotta level up. Yeah, I didn't destroy a Jura chip. Got a new high score. That's a good sign. to 100,000 out of <laughs> a lot of players and that for a game well it's 2014 so seven years ago that leaves us with harmonic heist the tuning again Harmonix is still a treasure if you hear this. Alright, okay. Well, let's see that. Oh, it went back, of course, and now we gotta do that tuning again. No, you can. You get it. I like how I play this again. Those are all of the mini games. With score attack, you can do uh, play on music you got from your other uh, from your session, from your learner songs. Uh, 
learn songs I will not show you. I can show you, but I will have to mute the main sound for a while. So if you go into the learn a session, you can have uh, your whole list with different playthroughs. It's basically where your songs list is in, and then you'll get the playthrough uh, scene in there. That leaves us with a session mode. You can set up your band in here and well let's see what you're supposed to do. No, I'm not gonna do vintage funk. Just do the preset. I have no idea. Pentatonic minor. So twelve to the fifteenth fret. So you basically got a beat indicator over there. Not feeling it. So change back exit session. So you can load a preset band. I've no idea. It says funk. I don't know. Play. I can't play funk. Where do you go? Where will it go? Vintage funk. What will I play? Play the groove. Set to shuffle. So the groove goes to shuffle and play scales now a bit. Better side, I own it. Tori. I don't know. A lot of different complexity 12 bars, strange, progressive, radio friendly, or a jam. Uh, let's do just, just a lead in. Studio floor, all cathedral arena. Ah, we'll play in the cathedral. We'll do that. Start session. I've no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, 11. So, this is basically the, the f figuring out the skiller. It's gotta be hard for you to listen to that. I'm gonna quit that. I got no idea. To play playing funk. Exit the session. Oh, I missed it's the mission complete. Okay. Oh, new one lay. Hmm. 
Okay. So how do you do that then? Load the preset. Funk again. Another vintage funk. Uh, yeah. Don't know. Start it. We'll see. Okay, yeah, funny, nice sound. No, I was exiting. Got a new. Ah, cool. supposed to be funk, isn't it? There's no wrong notes in funk. <laughs> okay. Well, this was session mode. You can non-stop play uh, songs you got in there, the guitar arcade. Uh, you can play a multiplayer, but doesn't work that great. In the tone designer, you can play around with the different tones I can show you yeah. well, for example uh, edit my tone you get a preamp let's see I can change this oh, I'll change this into uh, we'll do a filter in there got no idea base one ah I got no base or reverb in there spring reverb Yes, do that. Eh. So the amp, Marshall, different amps. Uh, this one seems kind of vintage. It didn't take it. Select and finish. What do we put in a looper? Mod lay. Yeah, most things when you just picking something random, then you might even get a nice sound out of it without even try. That's one way of finding out the different sounds. And we 
got different wrecks. So, fill this mod with another one of this. What's that? Dynamics? Okay, studio compressor. Finish. And uh, pitch. Uh, do a studio pitch. I have no idea. Just use the normal ones. Let's see how it sounds. Ooh, dreamy. Dream sounds. Ah, fun. I uh, no. Yeah. Let's make it dreamy. And yeah, no, not that on the tone stick, come on. Don't want that. Did it <laughs> Oh it came back in here in the background. <laughs> I guess this is uh, the basic that I'm going to show you from Rockstar since 2014. Let me close this up. Well, they also, they're changing also. They're busy on building something else and they're not letting out yet what, but they're stopping with uh, Rocksmith 2014, no more uh, new uh, music will come out. Of course, that will, we can use the custom DLC download for that. But yeah, so if you liked it, might have been a bit, a bit of a long stream, but I wanted to see with you all the mini games and the way it tries to teach you the guitar, even though I don't play that well. But hey, I do this for fun. I like this. So I'm gonna end it here, and we'll see you back next in, in the next stream. See. You.